Good afternoon, everyone. Right, yes, it's gel plate time again. I hope you enjoyed the last one with my uh, little one, Eleanor. Bear with me, let me just shut the window in case the dogs start barking. Um, yeah, she's, um, her mum had a dog, a couple of dogs to groom this morning. So I said, look, drop her off. I'll have her. And she loves doing gel plate printing. So, um, she left me with all the mess to tidy up. <laughs> Never mind. We'll pull that off and see what that comes off like. Right. Um, I am joining, um, if you've been watching for a while, I, I did the, um, sewing challenge that Anne Brooke yeah uh, she's handmade h-a-n-n-e made I think anyway she did a challenge um well it's just uh when lockdown started actually and um it was a sewing challenge it's all hand sewing it's all about hand sewing and um she started another one and this time we're making a book um She's got a YouTube video explaining it all, but basically we need, um, it's going to be, ba the, the pages themselves are sort of six inches square. So um, I thought, uh, obviously it's all based around fabric. And although I've got a stack of fabric, I, I've got all of these fabric paints. Let me show you. That's all fabric paints in there. And... I just thought, why aren't you gel printing your own and using those for these challenge things? So here we are. This is what we're doing. So I'm just tearing. It's a quite a nice uh, sort of canvasy fabric. So I'm just tearing it into six inch blocks. I know the fabrics that I need are never going to be bigger than I'm never going to need them bigger than six inches because that is the size of the pages. So um Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll use them for something else if I don't use them for this. Um, so I thought I would get the uh, fabric paints on the gel press. I've never done it before, actually. I um, I don't even know why I bought all those. <sighs> don't know. Um, probably for lino printing, which I am planning to do a uh, session on that. Um, but not just now. Um so I've started this now. So, you know, my mushroom thing that I've shown you is sort of like on standby. Honestly, I'm so easily distracted. It's a joke. So I've got no idea what I'm doing. You're with me for the whole thing. So the other rule is um, you have to choose one fabric that goes throughout your whole book. Now, um, I don't know what I've done with it. I got my order from, um, sorry, <laughs> I'm looking around drastically trying to find the order that I got through. Hang on, sorry, what to do with it? Oh, so professional, ah, there it is. Um, this is Artie Mays's fault. Um, she had... She'd bought some um, sari, sorry, sari fabric from this lady. Just trying to find a bit of plastic. Yeah. Sorry, I don't want to stick it on the gel plate in case it sticks. Um, she'd found this lady on uh, Etsy. Let me just hide my address. Uh, as I say, it's all Arcee Mays's fault. I'm going to blame her. Thank you, Andrea, for enabling me in shopping. Not that I need much help. Um, yeah, so I went to her site and she's um, she's got some lovely silks and things. And I think I told you before, she literally lives 10, 12 miles away. So the order's arrived. And um, on her note to me, um, she put, um, looking forward to see what you do with all of this. So there's a nice challenge, isn't there? I do love a challenge. So yeah, uh, I digress. So um, part of the challenge for this Ambrook thing is that you've got to choose a fabric which runs, uh, it can be a colour or a piece of fabric basically, I'm assuming that that's kind of what I got from it, that runs throughout the whole of the um, little booklet we're going to be making. So 
I thought a piece of this but th the thing is I don't quite know if we're going to be challenged with uh, do a certain colour or anything like that yet look at that one that's beautiful um, so I need something quite sort of neutral I think that'll be too it's a very pale lemony yellow sorry the light's a bit weird um, yeah, so I'm not sure what we're going to be challenged with yet, but see, that could work, couldn't it? If I made that my one piece of fabric, that could be quite nice, couldn't it? Um, yeah, so basically uh, I'm here and I'm going to print up some fabric and uh, we'll take it from there. Although I could just use that, couldn't I? It's a nice piece of trim, but I've got to say I'm loving this. That is beautiful. See, I've got, there's quite a few pages, so I think it's going to be eight page, yeah, eight pages in total. So, although, you know, they're not big pages, I need it to spread. So anyway, I'll, I'll contemplate one of these. Um, it can be anything, it, it, the colour itself, it, um, you know, you can put buttons or beads or whatever. Um, she also threw in some uh, nice vintage flower pages so that's um really nice so yeah anyway i will come back to those um if nothing else i'll make something else out of it if i don't use it in this challenge so that's um let me just grab a little details again olive originals on etsy okay she's got some lovely silks i must say it's really pretty Right, let's crack on. Stop procrastinating. Now that's stuck to my gel plate. Thank you. Um, there is still some acrylic paint left on here from earlier, but it is fine. I, you know, I quite often use acrylic paints on fabrics. So uh, I was just, I just, yeah. The other, the other challenge is going to be what colours to use. Um, they're, I think they're. Oh, it just says fabric oh, shimmering oh, okay so there's some shimmery ones which is that one that's a shimmery that's just paint that's just paint that's just paint i can't remember where i got these from i think it was the works maybe i don't know can't remember but as you can see i've got quite a lot <laughs> right okay they're all just paints and um, that's a paint paint right okay so they're all flat paints and they're the shimmery ones so they might be really nice and the other paints i've got are the dylon ones but i haven't got that many of those what are they oh that's my um other ones so in these i've got um a really nice dark green copper no bronze uh, beautiful turquoise that's going to have to get used and then a purple uh, white that'd be handy actually I'm assuming they're going to mix their fabric paints at the end of the day magenta yellow or oh, sorry deep pink they call it and just green yeah not really keen on that if anything I want to use a limey green which I've got here that's a really dark one, isn't it? Right, okay, let's put those over there. Right, we're just going to stack it all around us and see what we want to use. So, so shimmery, normals. Let's put those there. So I had thought of um, turquoise, that one, and lime. I quite like those colours. Now, um, Eleanor was using this sun stamp because the first um challenge bit we're going to do it's got to be squares and circles um she's got so much paint in there i don't even see it uh so i was thought if i let's just shift that up there so if i print the square of fabric that'll be my square and then i can have that in the middle printed and then that would be the circle that i can cut out of the fabric I don't know. Should we give it a go? Right, I've got no idea of the consistency of this stuff. I think it's quite runny. Yeah, it is quite runny. Right, so let me grab my palette knife. Sorry if that's jiggling the camera. 
um, yeah, I'll just work in this bottom corner, I think, down here. I'll say it's got some, uh, it's still got some acrylic paint on, but that's fine. I don't know what I'm doing with this, so it could be a complete disaster, so bear with me. I don't think it needs, is it open? Yeah, I might have used them then. I wonder. Hmm. Right, you might jiggle a bit, I'm sorry. So I'm just going to print the background fabric first of all. Let's see if this works. I need a scrap piece of fabric as a runoff, don't I? Because that could be very interesting. Look at there. I'll use you. You will do. I've got a bit of a pile at the side of me here of um, torn up fabrics. So let's see what happens, shall we? If it's a disaster, I'll just go back in with the paint and a sponge and um, just stencil it on. Are you actually seeing this? Mm. Yeah. Just. I wonder if you'll stay there. Bear with me. Let me just clamp you. Oh, sorry. It's a little bit better, isn't it? Right, stay there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that worked well. Really nice. So I was thinking, well, the shimmery is do the do that, that in the shimmery, but those colours don't really go, do they? So, so we use that and that. I could do purple on it, couldn't I? Yeah, that'll be right. Let's just do it, shall we? If nothing else, it can just go in the scrap bin. Ugh. Get off. Oh, now I've got fabric paint all over me. Right, let's pop that there. Oh, crikey. Oh, you can't remember. As bad as my granddaughter. She does like to splodge it on, bless her. Now then, let's think. I wonder if I just remove. Um, let's pop you there. If I remove as much as I can, it might just give me a faint outline on there. Let's put you on there. Let's put you on there. I haven't really thought this through, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, I'm just doing it. So she popped on uh, YouTube last night with the next challenge and I was like, oh, what do I use? I expect she had loads of people running around like headless chickens last night trying to think of what to use. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know if you can see it, it's a bit bright in here. Yeah. That's cool. And what I might do, I might go in with my paint probe. I don't know, would I? Well, I think that's quite subtle. I think that's quite nice. And the idea is, is that you enhance it with stitch. So um, I think that could be quite good, actually. It's not very dark, but that's okay. I tend to go too dark a lot of times. So, um, right, so that's that. And then you need, so you do two pages at once. Let me, um, let me show you. You actually cut the um, you cut the fabric the sort of base of the page out of wadding, and that'll be all right on there. And so you do, if you imagine, there's a line there. So you do one half in one thing, and then the other half in something else. Uh, but again, uh, this first challenge, as I say, is um, squares and circles. So what I'll do with that is actually cut this fabric out in a square, like so, to fit on the page. And then cut this circle out, and um, that will be that will be my first page. So let's put that somewhere safe so I don't lose it. Pop it over there, right? So yeah, so that's the pages. So this is the size we're working with. So six inch square. I'm I'm really looking forward to it actually. And the, the nice thing is this this one. She said we're just going to go quite simple, 
and um, just do um, straight stitch for the whole thing. So that's pretty awesome. Right, so let's just um, get that off there. So for the other side, I'm going to use my letter and number stencil. I'm just going to cut it. Uh, cut it. I'm just going to um, dye it, stamp it, whatever you want to call it, um, plain all over. Um, doesn't make sense, does it? What am I going to do? Hang on, let me think, because I'm talking in riddles, as usual. I'll show you what I'm going to do, and that's probably easiest, isn't it? Uh, prayer. Squeaky prayer, of course. Get off. Right, so what I might do is that. Use this runoff one that I'm using to lift some of the paint. Like so. And then remove that. And what did I use? Purple, didn't I? There it is. Just give that a minute to dry. That's the shiny one, mustn't forget that. Let's pop the lid on there because I'm bound to knock it over. It's transferred a little bit onto there, not too bad. So I've no idea what that will become, but it will become something. The last one I made it into a tag book, I think I did with it, so. Right, I'm just going to go over that very lightly and get my next bit ready. Where do I want you? I want you about there. Let's just smoosh that. And while I'm smooshing, I'll lift the rest of that fabric paint off of there. It doesn't hurt the gel press, I've been told anyway. I'm pretty sure I have done it before, but I can't remember on what. I can't remember what I did, because the paints are open, so I must have used them. The same as these, they're all open as well, the um, Dylon ones. So let's have a look and see what we got. Sorry, you're going to jiggle a little bit because I'm removing paint. Mm, it's kind of there but um okay well what i can do is go back in with the stencil she says what am i looking for i'm looking for a k where are you ah there you are yeah what i might do is go back in and sponge it on a little bit heavier right i'll line that up later right let's put that there Okay, so that's the two pieces I just wanted to get done. So now it's just playtime, really. And um, I'm going to... I say I've got quite a few pieces of fabric here all ripped up, ready to go. So let's um, let's just gel press, shall we? Gel print. I say these are kind of working just like um, um, ordinary acrylic paint. So, yeah, see, these are open. I've definitely used them. What did I make? We can't remember. Um, let's just splodge that on there. I'll say this, you know, we've we've done the bit that I wanted. <laughs> and that was just to get a couple of different fabrics, so which is all good. So let's remove that, turn that over onto our scruffy bit. Squeaky squeaky, here we go. It didn't leave hardly anything on there, so uh, I'll put you to one side. Oh, what are you? Get off. <sighs> okay, so we got that. Um, I wonder if that's a similar pink. I'm mixing these two, I'm assuming they'll mix. Oh, magenta, look at that. Wow. 
Okay, let's just clean off my palette knife. Dip you in there. You see, I've definitely used these because these are half gone. What did you make? No idea. Right, parts of this is going to turn purple because that is mixing. Maybe that's not enough. Maybe I'm not putting enough on. That's why it's not coming out too dark. Let's put a little bit more on there. I'm not the world's best um, jelly plate printer, as you can probably tell. I try and I keep trying. And I love it, and I don't care. I just love playing with it. I love seeing what you get, because every now and again, you just do one, and you're like, wow, happy, happy, happy. And you just keep adding. That's why I think that's what the other attraction with this thing is. I went down to Hobbycraft today, because I'm completely out of white acrylic paint. And it was closed. So that's okay. So yeah, definitely more paint then. That's the answer, isn't it? Right, okay. I'll put you over there. What I might do with that is the same as with the um letter one. I might go back over with the sponge and just sponge on some um you yeah, know more intense colours. So uh Ooh, what else should we do? Right, so there's quite a bit left on here actually, so um I'm trying to get a let's try this bronze one. No, I don't want that on there. Ooh. It's sort of separated in there, so let me give it a quick whirl. Ooh. Okay, that's a quite a lot. It's fine. Yeah, I'll say they're um that's the fabric dial on ones, so I've no idea where I got them. I've probably had them forever. Like a lot of my stuff, it sits there for ages and ages and ages, and then all of a sudden I get all inspired and want to use it, and then, then all of a sudden it's used. Uh, let's just pick that up with this long bit. I'm trying to work as fast as possible, it's ridiculously hot today, so everything's drying really quickly. I think that's the trouble Eleanor had earlier. Everything she was doing, bless her, was drying so quick. She was getting a bit frustrated. So, but then she's five, attention span of a gnat. So. She was a good girl though, didn't get her face in camera too much. So I was pleased with that. Let's have a look. Strings, more strings. Oh, I've cleared you lot off. Hold on. Scissors gone. Scissors, where are you? There you are, hiding. Drop them off. Oh, that did absolutely nothing. It's, got, it's quite glittery. I don't know if that's coming through on there. Hmm. Yeah, did absolutely nothing. So. I can't even go in with my white gesso because I've um my white um, acrylic because like I say I have um there's a buttermilk here. Let's see what that does. <laughs> More strings. Um what did I hang on, let's get another pattern on there. Okay. Um what should we do? What should we do? Let's try this one because I've got a long thin piece which is now buried there. There it is. So um, I just tore a thin, long, thin strip. So let's try this one with it. Um, I don't want buttermilk. Although, yeah, if I do that, because I've got this nice... Um, what colour is that? Oh, it's just a brown, obviously. But yeah, no, let's try that. And maybe mix in a little bit of the bronze. Definitely not, don't need to be um, 
mustn't be frugal season come on maybe i'll put the bronze on mm, do i want it now let's just try these two Sorry about the squeaky bread. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. Just pushing it right through. Hopefully it won't bleed. Let's see what we got. Oh. So sorry I'm working so fast it I've got to because it's um it's a tad warm. I'm just cleaning off my stencil whilst that's um I think it's gonna be strong enough. As I say it's just it's more about experimenting this if nothing good comes out of it, although that's okay. Quite happy with that. Cool. Yeah, definitely the um, it's definitely the amount of paint where I'm going wrong. So let's lay that down again. Which way up was it that way? Um, it's going to ghost if I put it there, isn't it? Okay. I don't particularly want it ghosting. Um, well, let's do a positive and a negative, shall we? See what we get. It's quite a detailed stencil, this one. Hopefully, I might be able to pull. Ew, that's rubbish. Okay. I wonder if I can pull that up. Um, what I might do is leave that. Yeah, and pick up the whole lot. Right, let's let that sit for a bit. So, yeah, that was rubbish. That's much better. So that's putting it through the stencil and then lifting it. So, okay. Oh, every day is a school day. What I might do is lift that onto here. Because I'm really quite... Yeah. Which I'll try. Tell you what, it's really sticky, actually. It's um, it's taking longer to dry than acrylic paint does. Um, let's see if we can pick it up with this one. Bright Azalea. Oh, well, we shall see. I think when you print on fabric it's so uh, different to when you print on paper um, I think it's a whole different kettle of fish so I don't think I've quite got that placed right but I'll just clean off my brayer because this stuff is really sticky Yeah, so anyway, I ran out of uh, white acrylic paint and, as I say, Hobbycraft was shut and our local store isn't opening yet, so... Oh, that did absolutely nothing. I wonder if I get that on paper. Um, so I've gone to the range, um, oh, I arranged the works and ordered it online. So, you know, because I've got work the next two days, so um, it's not like I can sort of go and stand outside... Um, uh, the shops and wait for them to open. So I was looking for my smoosher. I don't know where he is. Which I never get to use when Eleanor's here because she nabs that. It's that wooden thing that I use. 
pants. You know, more pants. Um, if I get the acrylic paint out, that might lift. Let me just hold on. This is quite a nice colour, actually. It's like a buttermilk, but it is acrylic. Although, as I say, I've I've used um, I use just bog standard paints on um on fabrics, and it works really well. So. Yeah, I might try and lift that onto that fabric. Get some of that. Yeah, let's start putting that on paper. Let's see if it'll lift on the fabric again. Right, I'm going to put that bit down again. <sighs> Fingers crossed. I'm not enamoured of the paints, I'll be honest with you, so um, I'll, uh, they might have to go back in the um, naughty corner. I think they'll, I think they're better if you use them for stenciling and stuff like that. I mean, they're not, you know, they're not designed for jelly plate printing, so I'm being a bit unfair there, but um, even so, bit bit disappointed that they're not working better but you know we'll make it work it's interesting i like things like that right let's see what this road crash is like it's probably just going to be all that color now isn't it mustard but that's yeah that's fine yeah it's not lifting any of that pattern off Okay, well, we'll try again, but this time I'm going to use paper. I've got some here. I went through my big bird book and pulled out all the pages that have got, you know, just writing, basically. So, uh... all right, let's see if this will lift onto paper then. This is a bit of mucky colour, this, but it's all I've got until my white arrives. And that's probably not going to be tomorrow, so. Let's see what we can do. Out the way, fabric. This is a big bit of paper coming through. We got here. Well, that's the scrappy bit. Let's put that there. I've got to say, it was interesting going out actually to do a post run, and uh, the world's getting back to normal, isn't it? There was blinking cars everywhere. I thought, crikey, haven't we learnt nothing? Obviously not. Right, I don't think this is going to work somehow because I think it's just too darn hot. Mm. It's kind of lifted it. Yeah, I think it is just too hot today. Isn't that weird? Oh, no, they're falling for the ink. Right, okay. There. I might give up on um, any more. I'm just going to do some stenciling, I think, because um, I think it's too hot. Because that is that is basically just dried almost instantly. So um, let's see if we can just get a bit of this on here. See. So quick, and because I haven't got the thicker white paper yeah. paint to lift it off, um, I can't. Um, I can't get it to shift. Hockey dockey. Right, we'll shelve those for now, and um, let's do some 
stenciling. I'm really fascinated to see if I can line up that um, letter one actually. So uh, let's see what we can do. Shall I? Uh, yeah, I'll use that as a palette, I think. Okay, let me just grab my chair. Okie dokie. guys all need to move you need to come here right let's see if we can uh... a big old plate that one but brilliant I mean it's just awesome for fabrics and that's the loving it I'm trying to get in frame for you bear with me Kind of. Okay, if I go any um, further this way, I'll get my fat head in the way. You don't want to see that. Right, so I'm just going to line up. I can just see the letter K and that number eight. And that one down there. Right, okay, let's do it. Sponge. Um, gosh, decisions, decisions. What colour do we go for? <sighs> Definitely don't want white. That's tempting, isn't it? It'll be very purple because this is going to colour the background. So let me get my turquoise back again. Let's see what we can do. Probably end up mixing them anyway. now yeah so quite excited to start um, um, Brooks's new challenge it should be interesting to get on with that I'll say I've only even started my mushrooms it's just been one of those weird weeks where I haven't had a lot of energy and I think it is the heat so I, I don't do well in the heat so I think yeah I've just sort of sat down and just sort of done nothing I did make a big bucket of snippets last night which I was quite pleased with so I'll show you those in a second right well not a bucket but a, you know a tray full, shall we say? Okay, so we've got a bit of blue going on. Purple, blue, blah, blah, blah. purple, and yeah, it was blue, wasn't it? Yeah, turquoise. Um, I want to brighten it up. And there I go in with the lime. Let's see if it'll show up. It's not a very um, fluorescent lime, this one. Um, Clean sponge, really. Let me grab a sponge box here. Gosh, that's showing up really well. Right. I do want to put too much out in case it wouldn't um, show, but it does. So much paint on that stencil, I need to give it a wash. Or sticky, mind you, I'll say that fabric paint's sticky, so I guess it has to be to stick to the fabric, who knows? Right. I did think of doing lime green again because I oh, just love lime green. Um, but I did that for the other challenge that I did of Anne's, so I thought I'd uh, mix it up a bit more. Oh, sorry about that text coming through. Let's have a quick peek. Okay. 
you I don't even know if you're seeing any of this let me have a oh yeah a little bit yeah Still trying to work out how to do a, a digital. Well, I know how to do it. It's just getting a print that's good enough. Not that I feel is good enough anyway. So uh, I think that's why I got the gel plate out again today. I thought, oh, I'll, I'll get on with that and think about it. But like I say, I just um, I haven't had the oomph. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Let me give you a close up. Sorry, I was out on screen a bit, wasn't I? Take the sun off it. There we are. So yeah, you can. I'm hoping that that will look really good um, opposite that other one. Where did it go? There we are. So I think what I might do is go around this a bit more. Crikey, I wonder what that noise was. It's next door drilling. Um, yeah, because I need to get a little bit more of that lime green in for it to match up with this one. So. Um, I wonder if I stamp the sum and make a um, you know template thingy around it. That could be good, and then I could yeah, it definitely needs needs some of that lime in there. So maybe where's it gone? Oh, here we go. Where'd it go? Come on, you're huge. You can't be disappearing on me. Oh, there you are. Did that work? Yeah, so I need this outside line. Sorry, this is probably... Oh, God, 42 minutes. Really? <sighs> right. Sorry, bear with me. I'll do this as quick as I can. So what I want to do is basically stamp this onto there cut very carefully around this outline and then stick put that on here so that I can then go in with the lime green I'm not too worried about this bit because sorry I'm not so I'm going to go around not too worried about this bit because that's going to be removed anyway but I really want this to show up a bit more so I wonder if I could Ooh. oh I bet it won't work though I say I've got the Tim Holtz stamping platform, but I think because that's one of those big chunky mould things, I don't think it'll sh um, it'll work. Let me move that gel plate right out of the way, and then I can get right up in your view. I say it's a funny old light today. Now then, I wonder. Shall I try it? Oh, just do it. It's a piece of fabric. I'm going to try and just stamp directly onto there freehand. Let's do it. Do it, do it, do it. Um, what colour? No, oh, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Uh, where's me? Hold on. Got a brain freeze. Uh, Intense that I've got on the paper. I know I've got it written on the box somewhere. Right. Talk amongst yourselves for two seconds and I'll be back with you. Right. Intense. <laughs> oh, lordy. Right. I need my water brush. Where's my water brush? See, you can never find one when you want one. There's about like six of the blooming things somewhere. Okay, well, I can just do it the old fashioned way with um, water and a diddy paintbrush, can't I? Right, this is pretty rubbish. Right, okay, let me just show you what I'm intending to do and then I'll show you the uh, finished thingy on another. Right, I want my purple. What colour are you? Dark purple, violet, violet would be nice. I'm hoping I'm in screen here. So what I'm going to do is just go around here. You've seen these when I did the hedgehogs, how much they change 
um, once you get a bit of water on and then uh, hopefully that sun will really pop out because I think if I try to stamp it I would just mess it right up so um, let's see if this will work can kind of see the outline it's not brilliant but Why that looks a bit weird with me, my interpretation. Yeah, it's really ghosty here, so I'm just trouble seeing it. Just gonna make one up there because I can't actually see it. So now I also want to go around here because I think this will be the bit that I remove. Uh, as I say, if you go and check out her um, video on YouTube, um, she'll show you where she's got to. You'll see where she's got to on page one of them or page one and two because she decorate both sides at the same time basically right let's see if that does anything shall we I'm a bit frustrated as to where my water brush has gone sorry peeps frame yes hurrah at least i'm getting something right today right so let's get some water coming out here this is probably going to smudge and fray and all the rest of it and then i'll probably end up screaming and crying and you know all the rest of it but let's see what it does let's say it's not it's not in its final um um it's not in its final finish basically because um uh, it's, it needs to be stitched around a lot Come on, water, thank you. This is the lovely Art Cure water, um, it's a water thingy, uh, water brush. Um, I was actually gifted a lovely set when I had the shop, the, um, the guy who actually designed them basically. Um, he wanted me to stock it in the shop, but um, I was trying to explain to him, you know, that, I mean, it was really expensive products. And I said, I, I just don't think I'd sell any of them. He's like, oh, no, no, you will, you will, you will. I said, oh, no, I really don't think I will. No. Um, I managed to, you know, convince him otherwise in the end, but he was, um, he was rather pushy. But he wanted his products to sell, so... And he was right. I mean, the, the town where I had the shop was, um, you know, quite an arty, arty town, if you like. But I just knew they wouldn't pay the price. And I can't remember what it was, but I know they weren't cheap. So um, I was right. I got a free set out of it. So thank you very much. That's a bit better, isn't it? You can definitely see it now. So once that's enhanced with even more stitch, that'll be much better. So it's just, um, just a bit more dark than this up here. That was the violet it wasn't the dark purple so i might have to go back in here with the dark purple doesn't appear to be smudging so far right let's just get the uh is that the darker one here yeah. i'm just going to scribble around there Oh, 
Yeah, I'm still not 100% what I'm going to use is what is what's going to be called the um, the reoccurring colour throughout the book so I might use a piece of that silk um, I don't know I'm not worried if that smudges into the middle that's fine I quite like that actually it's uh, sort of fading itself out so well, it's a bit weird aren't they it's just going to make these a little bit more pointy This one for definite. Oh, that's going to smudge like hell now. <laughs> oh dear, no mind. I just wanted to make that more, which looks quite like in that actually. Let's do that all the way around, shall we? Come with nearly out of water in this. Come on, eight tenths, do your thing. Bleed. Yeah, that's fine. I'm actually really liking that. It's quite moody, quite dark. I knew I wasn't going to go dark, but here it is. We're going dark. I'm going to make you sit and watch it all. You can just fast forward or just yeah, you know, go go when you want. You are this. You are um, you are given permission to leave if you wish to. It's fine. I'm kind of liking that. Let's put that on there. I'll just make sure I've gone back in screen. Yeah. It's very stressful this YouTube building, you know. If you want to make sure you're in frame. There's nothing more frightening. I don't know. I don't know about you, but when I'm watching something and it goes out of frame, I'm kind of looking. Uh, oh, where's that gone? You know, you're trying to get your head to sort of look underneath the TV or something. Or computer monitor as it is for me. But Hango going on here. Quite liking that. Yeah, I'll pick that all out. I might go in with a paintbrush actually and paint that all lime inside there. So actually, the gel plate is kind of like me, but it's giving me the background. So I, yeah, I have. More, I think I have more success with um, acrylic paints than um, fabric paints, and I've got the GAC uh, nine hundred stuff, and that that you know, it's fine. It turns it into a fabric paint so it seals it in once it's um once it's ironed in it's great so i might get rid of all my fabric paints but then it you know i don't know no i probably won't because it, it's only a little box and it doesn't take up a lot of room and you know it's um sod's law as soon as you get rid of something you wouldn't even want it it'll come in handy for other things i'm sure other projects not gel plate related because it's it's um it's sta um stenciled really well. What did I do with it? Oh, I don't know. It's around here somewhere. Um, yeah. So it's sta it's stenciled really well. So can't moan at it there. Should have got a proper paintbrush and just painted this on proper like. Come on, water. You can do it. You probably think I'm making a horrendous mash out of this, but I think it's going to work all right. My neighbour slamming their front door, banging. 
I do apologise. They're quite good actually, I never usually hear anything. Shouldn't do the whole lot now. Because I think I've kept you long enough. I did ask a question of one of my subbies actually. Um, you know, do you do you want to watch whole process videos, i.e., you know, long ones, or, well, you know, or or do you just want to sort of see me starting something and then the finished product? I don't know. I, yeah, I'm happy to do either. I'll be honest with you. So you need to let me know what you'd like out of this. It's you know, at the end of the day, it's I know it's my channel, but it you know, it's um, it's not a channel without you guys. So you let me know if there's something that. You'd rather it went a different direction ish. No. Turn those more into. I'm really glad I've done this because I'm really liking this darkness in here. I think that will look really good if I put some um, white stitches around. Let's really get that to bleed now, shall we? We're not going to do the line. Yeah, I like you. My only worry is that this is going to settle as a circle. So let's really soak this and get this all moving. Actually, I've got a little spray here. I'll tell you the other thing I was going to try. I've got some um, alcohol because that can make some interesting effects. Should we try it? Should we get this to bleed? A mix and stuff. This is just a mini sprayer. It was a nice fine spray of water. Because I don't I don't want this halo here. I'll try and get rid of that if I can. This bit here. Fade. Go away. Quite liking that. It's a bit yin yang in the middle there, isn't it? Okay. Let's just pick up a little bit more. I like the way the purple and the green are mixing. Are you actually seeing any of this? Because I've got a box there and it's kind of shadowing. There we are. Yeah, I'm liking that. Looks even better on screen, actually. That's all fading now, so that's all good. I'm going to leave that one to dry. Let me give you a close-up, and then I'll mess around with a bit of alcohol on the other one. I'm really liking that. So I'll get the sun off it, and then that's it with the sun on. Yeah, love. Okay. Groovy. Okay, let's mess around. Um, paint booger. Right, let's, uh, let's get this nice and wet. What do I do with that? There it is. Just got some, um, it's the alcohol that I use when I make my soaps actually. Because um, sometimes you need to um, just spray the tops of the soap. And it's meant to work really well. Maybe I should let it. It is alcohol, isn't it? <laughs> Hang on. Oh, God, yeah. Whew. Whew. That's alcohol, all right. It's meant to um, make it disperse, but it's not happening on here, is it? Does it on acrylic paint beautifully? I've got a bit of. Let's try it on this, shall we? Right, you not shove over there. Out of the way. Gangway, you go up there to dry. Let's put you there somewhere safe. Intense pencils out of the way. Let's check you in screen. Yes, you are. Okay. I don't know if it's going to work. 
I think I meant to put it on when it's still wet actually. I can't remember. I watched somebody do it. Yeah, it's not doing anything, is it? New. No. Right, okay. I'm gonna let you go. I think I've kept you long enough. Um yeah, so happy with that. That's fine. Get that one done. Let's get that nice and dry. Beautiful, loving it. And um for the life of me find that one. Oh, there it is. Uh, that's not you. What did I do with it? Ah, no. Right, let's get you out of the way. That's the one with the bubbles. That's the big bit. That. Okay, I've lost it. Where's it gone? You're the scruffy bit. Okay, can you see it? Can you see it anywhere? <laughs> Come on, shout. Oh, I give up. Right, okay, well, it's here somewhere. Hang on. Ah, no, that's not it. Oh, that's bonkers. Sorry, I'm still here. I am searching frantically for that bit that I was going to stencil on. And it's completely disappeared. You're not under there, are you? No. Was it that bit? Ah, no. Was it you? You've got to be kidding me. What have I done with it? Right, I'm probably driving you bonkers. Um, I'll find it and I'll show you next time. Enough. Uh, yeah, great. Sorry, this is over an hour. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. And um, I, say, I hope you enjoyed the last one with me and my little one. Um, and I'll show you what these are like when they're finished. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.